not your average guy, never mind your own YouTube channel. Azores Island Sao Miguel, uh, Phantom 4 Pro we got here, brand new. And I want to test the smart return to home feature. What they say it is, is like when you fly through the field like this, and then it will record all the obstacles over there and then it comes flying back in a short way to you. But what, what I see over here is there's wires walking. I don't like that. We're up and running, so let's just do a quick test. Calibration, calibrate compass, seriously. All of a sudden it wants to calibrate the compass. It's, and now not anymore. So I think there is something in this uh, box. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I just got to take back control when it's getting too close to the wires. Take off. I'm not going to fly a lot higher than this, like this, and then. I will stay under the wires. I'm gonna fly like this. Would it have recorded this obstacle? Like this tree, I wanna make sure it knows where this tree is. And uh, now we're gonna fly to this tree over here so we want to make sure that it knows where this tree is too it's not beeping yet All right now it's beeping so we're gonna fly around it like this and then we're gonna fly towards this tree over here there's a lot of trees. Okay, we are sure that he sees them as well. And this one. And we want to make sure that this uh, smart return to home feature is on. And I think it's somewhere over here. Uh, turn on smart return to home. So that's on. Right now, let's see. I go backwards. And um, I'm flying away from, from this situation. And now, if it does smart return to home, it's, I think it should fly straight towards me without going up first. If it doesn't, it just goes up. That, w that is what it would normally do. It goes up and then comes to me. It would fly to 50 meters, which is way too much. So I will put that to 20 meters. So now I'm going to push the um, return to home button over here. And then let's see what happens. This one. It turns, it goes up. <laughs> I do not see any smart return to home here. I don't see nothing being smart here. We need higher obstacles. Turn on smart return to home. If obstacle is detected during smart return home, aircraft will ascend to avoid it. No, oh, that's not what we want. That's the normal. In the description, it said it makes a 3D map of everything, of all the obstacles. And then when it wants to return to home, it takes the shortest route back. Well, then I have to take... I don't know. We're going to test another thing that's also part of the returning home. And what it says is that when you lose signal it will fly back exactly like it was coming so that you are able to regain 
the signal which of course is better than just flying straight back to you because if there is an obstacle in between because of which you lose the signal then it's better to return the way you were coming than flying straight back so let's try that out or going up but this tree is not like 20 meters high is it it doesn't matter how i lose signal i can just try something right all right i will go up i will go that way and then i will fly behind the tree over here so now the tree is in between me and the aircraft and now maybe i can just lose signal by lowering the antennas maybe i can lose signal by going behind this thing the signal is bad yeah now it's now we want to know what it's doing no it's just yeah oh you see that that is just funny <laughs> that is funny that is just funny it is doing that <laughs> all right well that is just very smart it is did you see that it was flying well what it was doing First it was going up to the 20 meters and then it was flying the route that I came. And I think we can see this on the flight log later on. I think you can clearly see it on the flight log or maybe we can even see it. I get a strange message here. Yeah, the landing is going okay. But you can clearly see it here on the flight log. I came like this and it was going back like this too. And uh, normally what it would have done is it would have gone up and then coming back at me straight like this. So, yeah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. But would that, no, that's not all of it. There is more. There is more. Because this has nothing to do with the 3D map that it internally makes this is just when you lose signal so there, there should be more but we need to run into an obstacle of 20 meters high i don't know i'm looking for something but what about these trees so what if i fly like there go beyond that thing This cannot be lower than 20. No, it's just 20. Okay, uh, we've got to rethink this. We're going to retry because in the previous flight, maybe because he did not know the route back yet because I was flying like this and he doesn't know all the way over here. He thinks like, I don't know it. I go up and back. So now we're on a different location and I want to make sure that he knows the way back too. There's a lot of trees over here. So, so basically I'm going to fly over there and I put the stick in the ground right here. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm right above the sticks. If I go up, I know this is free. There are no branches. So if it wants to return to home, it can just go up and then uh, come back. Also, I've been flying straight up there. So I am sure that he knows the route back. Now I'm just gonna fly in between here and maybe i should do this in the tripod mode let's do this in the tripod mode because it's extra safe it uses all the sensors there's a little tree can i fly in between there with the tripod mode 
it's flying really slowly it looks like it can do this it's starting to complain a little bit yeah no problem Okay, it's objects are so close that it does not want to move on. So I think I should leave the tripod mode. Yeah, all right, and then I will just move on visually. Why are we flying in between these trees? Like this. Okay. So now. Very close to the tree. Very close. To the Which tree? So we sh <laughs> so my brother is watching. Oh, all right, whatever. Keep watching. I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker like this. All right. So we we've been flying through the trees, and we're. I'm almost at the location where it should know it can come back yeah if we look down there's my my stick in the ground and now i want it to return to home it should take the most efficient route if i push the return to home button or it goes up Go home. it goes up all right well, it can do this. It's not that high. I go a little bit higher. All right, it just it just goes up. So we have not determined this internal 3D mapping of the environment and then taking the most efficient route back yet. We did not see that. Probably we did something wrong, but um, maybe you know how it's working. Then you can just leave your comment in the box below and we'll see. Well, we hit some tree again. Mm -hmm. That's good.